Welcome to one of our country's most pleasant cities, a bounty of climate, sea air, good living, with the backdrop of some of the nation's muscle in the naval armada that calls San Diego home. This game has a 28-year history that is marked by high-scoring college football games with wild finishes, featuring many of the game's best players. The Pacific Life Holiday Bowl from San Diego, California. The 28th playing of the Holiday Bowl game matching the Oregon Ducks of the Pac-10 and the Oklahoma Sooners of the Big 12. Overwhelmingly, the fans said we would go to San Diego. Aside from that, there's 49 Californians on this Oregon Duck team, so they feel right at home here in San Diego. No snub here, Keith. And the Oklahoma Sooners kick it away. Garrett Hartley knocks it down the field, and it is picked up by Jeremiah Johnson. And Jeremiah runs into trouble inside the 15-yard line. He never really got it going. And the Sooners came in a hurry. Here is your starting lineup along the front for the Oregon Ducks. All the, these people started the last nine games, and the spread formation apparently has given them better health. The receivers, Dandy's here. Wide out, Demetrius Williams, 55 catches. He leads the core. And the backs, the quarterback to start, Dennis Dixon, who shared time with Brady Leaf since the season-ending injury to Kellen Clements. Terrence Whitehead is one of the top running backs in the country and has become a very good receiver. And you'll see him a lot, I suspect, you in the screen pass play tonight. So they're going to start well back at the 13-yard line, playing on real grass here in San Diego. Dixon with a little play action, flushed out of the pocket, gets away from one, got away from two, and got up to the 15 for two yards. Along the defensive front for the Oklahoma Sooners, the blacksmith is Dusty Dvorak, 298 pounds of attitude. It's not the biggest defensive group around, but they're very quick. The linebackers here again, speed is part of the threat. Rufus Alexander Rome from sideline to sideline. Kenyoki Oyenagetja, who started all season, will not be here tonight. He's suspended. Eric Bassey, 27 starts, replaced him. A lot of speed in this group as well. Of course, that's Oklahoma football, isn't it? Speed, speed, speed. Here goes Oregon now on second down and eight. Out of that spread formation, Dixon keeping again, and the Sooners knife in and get him. Third and eight. For Oregon. Dixon gets his pass away and it is caught by Demetrius Williams who leads the team in receiving. They send Whitehead in motion. Good receiver. Dixon back there by himself looking to throw. Pressure coming. And he runs the pressure. He's very quick and he gets up across the 25 to about the 28. It is second down and seven now and uh, the Sooners go to five defensive backs as Dixon throws hard and it's low and at the feet of the intended receiver. He got five defensive backs for Oklahoma and the Ducks really spread them out for this one. Here comes the pressure. The pass is away in a hurry and it is incomplete. Put the big people back there and there's contact. Not be enough for the first down for Oregon. Contact. Number 16 on the defense. That five yard penalty. Still fourth down. So it'll be fourth down and two people in this group. They snap it, and on fourth down and two, it goes to Matt Draggett, who finds plenty of running room and crosses midfield and picks up a first down for Oregon. Perfect execution of the fake punt by Oregon. And so they take a chance, it pays off. You wonder if they would have gone for the fake if they had not been offsides on the previous play by Baker. It is Garen Strong throwing. Started around. Dixon going down the field. The lefty. I'm not sure that Dixon realized where he was on the field. He might have thought he was too far to the sideline. Now he goes back into the quarterback position out of the spread formation. Ball goes to him. Throws it sideways. That's a forward pass. Ball goes to James Finley. And all the blitzing invites option action too from these Oregon Ducks and they can run it well out of this formation this ball ended to Terrence Whitehead Whitehead slashes into the middle and fourth down and a half a yard they're going to run for it and they won't get it 
They won't get it. It was Zach Latimer, the middle linebacker, who put the hit on the big back for Oregon, Jonathan Stewart. Nice place. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, Oklahoma's first time on offense now as Rhett Bomar steps back and throws on the first play of the ball game. Joaquin Inglesis, one of the two freshman wide receivers starting, and he's got a big play out of it all the way inside the 40. Left side, guys, and the front for Oklahoma, over 300 pounds. Messner is the junior. The others are seniors. They'll have their hands full all night against the Oregon defensive front. Malcolm Kelly is the other end. He is the other freshman, and Glacis just made that play. Uh, Red Bomar beat like a drum as a redshirt freshman in the first half of the season, but he's a big, tough guy, weathered the storm, and has played very well for the last six games. Ball thrown again to Inglesis, and Inglesis is down inside the 30-yard line. Team rules police in Hollywood, Florida are investigating an alleged sexual assault. It is first down for the Sooners on the Oregon 25-yard line, staying in the shotgun. Bomar back, looks, throws, pass complete. Adrian Peterson making the catch after he slipped out into the open, and he will go inside the 20 down to about the 17. The Oregon defensive front, Alote Nasa, 6'5", 340, first consensus All-American at Oregon since Mel Renfro in 1962. And the linebackers, the linebacker strong safety Anthony Truck leads the team in tackles with 85. The defensive backs, well, you no longer throw it at these guys. You better know what you're doing because they had 22 interceptions during this past season. Goes to the center, and uh, now he moves the tight end, and Paul Thompson over, comes to this side. He's the former quarterback. Omar stands, plenty of protection, in zone, ball dropped. Joe John Finley, who's in there as a tight end. Now they'll try for three. On the field for the field goal try, Garrett Hartley, 34 yards. The holder is... Uh, ball dropped. The kick is good. And so the Oklahoma Sooners go to the lead by a score of three to nothing here in the first quarter. We've got 8 4 to play. Plain white shirts, pretty much plain black britches. High hanging kick. It goes to the two yard line to Jonathan Stewart. And Jonathan Stewart hammers his way across the 20 and out. To the 21, here's Todd Harris as Oregon comes up first down on their own 22-yard line. Dixon turns and gives the ball to Terrence Whitehead, and Whitehead keeps on pounding. Both games available in sparkling high definition on ESPN HD. Back goes Dixon to throw. Throws the ball sharply, and... They go for the first down, and they get it with Whitehead moving across the 35-yard line. On first and 10 for the Ducks from the 35. Dixon takes off. He's got eight yards. They trail Oklahoma on a 34-yard field goal, three to nothing. Dixon looking, lets it go to the sideline. Pass caught. Brian Pessinger. First down for Oregon. Dixon gives to Whitehead. Whitehead's hit at the line of scrimmage by half a dozen. Dixon, low snap, picks it up, throws the ball down the sidelines. Got a man wide open. It's Demetrius Williams. Dixon gives the ball to Whitehead, found the hole, and one man keeps him from getting across the goal line. Calvin Thibodeau. It'll be second down, call it three. Dixon's pass down the middle, pass complete to the tight end, Big Ten Day, and Day's inside the 10, first and goal, Oregon. 4.25 to go in the first quarter. From under center, ball given to Whitehead, hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Dixon shopping takes off. 
Gets down to the six, maybe the five. Collective blocking, though, is difficult to achieve when you're running a sped offense. You can't get that real power stuff. Goes the other way with it to Demetrius Williams. Touchdown! There's your running game. Great deception by Oregon. Gave the look of the option play to the wide side of the field. <laughs> that Martinez for the point. Good. Two minutes and 58 seconds to go in the first quarter, and Oregon goes to the lead, 7-3 on a drive that started at the 22. If it gets cold, <laughs> that's Bigfoot. They found him. Ball bouncing around, got past the first sooner, and the second man picks it up and then falls down at the 29-yard line. Tulsa and Fresno State. Adrian Peterson is the single back for the Oklahoma Sooners, and they fake it to him. Bomar keeps it, throws to a wide open. Malcolm Kelly and Malcolm Kelly get Peterson and Runnels. J.D. is a blocking back of the first order. Ball is thrown outside to Inglesis. He's now caught three balls. And oh, Kevin Wilson, the new offensive coordinator for the Sooners. It's second down and five. And Bomar going deep down the middle. It is incomplete intended for Malcolm Kelly. Yes, he is. Out of the shotgun. Omar again is hit as he throws, and the pass goes sailing away. Exciting sometimes. Left footer gets it out with a lot of air under it. Ball fumbled, and Fennessey covers it, and there's a penalty flag. You don't have the... the catch interference, number 23, 15-yard penalty. Spot of the foul. First He's a six foot five, 223 pound sophomore. From the 29, the Ducks go to work. Big tall guy, sees well, not quite as quick and mobile as uh, Dixon, but throws the ball outside. The ball is caught by the Oregon receiver and a heck of a quarterback. Leaf again throws that direction, Demetrius Williams, but Demetrius is going to lose on the play. At they're down in six, less than a minute to play, first quarter. Leaf flush, takes off up the field, dives for the marker, and he's short. The first quarter is completed with the Oregon Ducks leading the Oklahoma Sooners by a score of 7-3 to three in the Pacific Life Holiday Bowl. will punt it away leading seven to three Dragus gets a low line drive it's a tail dragger though and it's going to roll in Oregon's favor and does inside the 15 and dead down around the 12 yard line what do you think they could do on offense to get things going here well I think uh, they haven't had the ball much Oklahoma had the ball much but when they had we, they've had the ball they moved it well so See what he can do a little bit further outside. That's the old stretch. And it works all right. First down for the Sooners down. They got a little more room as the ball comes outside to the 22. And they go back to Peterson. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, but his strength will get him back. They give him credit for yard on the last play. He didn't get that much. Omar back, throws the ball to the sidelines. It is complete to Malcolm Kelly. Kiwan Jones is in the ball game for the Sooners. And Adrian Peterson has come out. Bomar running for the first down. Big guy can haul it. He's got the first down. Drops his shoulder, goes across the 40. And first down, Sooners. Ball at the 42. Bomar pitches that ball wide. It goes to Adrian Peterson back on the field. He had a little helmet to repair. Listen to the coach, young man. <laughs> Listen to the man who's been there. Ball is thrown deep. The receiver coming across the field. A great play by Joe John Finley. The intended receiver, I swear to you, was Malcolm Kelly. Aberly. And then watch the catch by Finley. That's a tough one, Keith. I mean, Kelly saw Finley coming, didn't he? He kind of buried himself in the ground. Well, he fell down. I'm not so sure that's a completion. Following the review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. Third down at the 45-yard line. 
third down, 45-yard line. He's in the shotgun. Back he goes. He looks right, looks left, goes down the middle, and he is intercepted by J.D. Nelson. Brady Leaf comes out for his second series. Uh, he threw an interception a while ago himself. And he's back to throw here and gets it away. The ball is caught. And it is good for a first down at the 45-yard line. But they put two wideouts at the top of the screen this time. Ball bounces back. Pressure coming. Leaf gets it off and throws to the sidelines at 7.30 Eastern time. That's on ESPN. And back goes Leaf again. Looking around. Plenty of time. Now it goes down on the 40. Didn't feel the pressure. For and uh, it's a very simple fact that uh, Brady Leaf is, is not quite as agile nor as quick. Got a good arm. That ball is almost picked. Steps into the open spot right there. Picks up the guy coming in. I mean, he stops. And this time, the dragon tips up beauty. Uh, it's down at the five yard line. Holy cow, what a six iron. <laughs> that 57 yarder was a season long. Out of the end zone. Bomar looking. Keeps it. Tackle right about the line of scrimmage. They give him a yard on the carry, Bomar, and so it is second down and nine. This is Peterson. And Adrian. Third and four. Ball on the ten. Brett Bomar looking around, throws, and the ball is caught by Kelly. Kelly's across the 15. He's got a first down. He looks fit still. Ball pitch back to Peterson, going to the outside. The defense goes with him, and they've got him. He's got eight carries, 20 yards so far tonight, but it's still early. Bomar to the 20, 21. Whips it, completes it. Manuel Johnson in at a wide out. They had three wide outs. Alan Patrick is in the backfield now as a protector for Bomar. Bomar fakes it to him, throws to the outside. Good to Inglesis. That's four catches for Joaquin Inglesis in the ball game. Inglesis has 51 yards on his four catches so far. Bomar throwing again. Deep. Incomplete. Overthrown. Aaron Gibson. Ball dropped. That would be a huge loss because he plays alongside uh, Nata. And the ball down the middle. Almost completed. Almost intercepted. Uh, but Justin Fennessy is waiting for it. Oh, he got this one. Runs Justin all the way back. Takes a bounce. Rolling around. And did he get to the chalk? Apparently not. Look at this. Dixon, at Dixon standing in his end zone to take the snap. He's going to throw it. And complete it to Rosario. Oregon leading in the ball game 7 to nothing. Six minutes to go the first half. And Dixon flips it outside on an option play. And there's a pickup of about three yards. Can't wait. This is Whitehead breaking two tackles and takes it across the 30 yard line for another first down. Well, they got three wideouts to this side, one at the top of the picture. Dixon again flips that ball to the outside and they're going to pick up about three. Second down, seven. Inside it goes to Whitehead on that little shovel pass. Dennis Dixon reorganizing things before the snap. He keeps it himself, and boy, they ate him up. Right about the line of scrimmage. He's gone 50 and 56 in his last two punts. He didn't get all of this one. Kind of hooked it to the sidelines, and it bounced straight out of bounds, and that'll be pretty short. Those things are tough to get well. 
fumbles the snap as it came back hard and finally it is picked up in the backfield by Adrian Peterson and Peterson uh, will lose way back to the 19 yard line. They got Keewan Jones in there right now as the running back with Bomar working out of the shotgun and he keeps it. Faked it to Jones, kept it, got away from one tackle, took a hit from another, gets it up to the 25-yard line. Minute 40 to play in the first half. Oregon is leading Oklahoma 7-3. to three. Out of an empty backfield, Bormar throws, pass complete to Kelly. Kelly is cracked down short of the first down, and it looked like if he could turn it inside, he'd have it. Uh, we're finally going to get the point. It's a low liner that's going to bounce and roll around, and Fennessey wants nothing to do with it. Just to get back enough, the ball's going to go dead at about the 12-yard line. They work. This is Dennis Dixon taking a lick. Ball came out, and Fenley. Dixon throws quickly to the outside to Fenley. Finley runs through a couple of tacklers and gets it up for the first down. Put it up on the 27-yard line. They'll run it again with the Whitehead. Get up to the 30. They're going to the clubhouse. At halftime, it is 7-3, Oregon leading Oklahoma. And you can see that the teams trailing at halftime have won seven of the last eight games. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll see what happens. Seven to three, Oregon leading. And let's join. And again, I'm struck by the fact that the, the wardrobe for the Ducks in this ball game has been rather basic. The kick goes into the corner to Alan Patrick. Found the crack and almost went home. I mean, he was a step away. Well, Bomar's out there on the field. Under center. And a whistle. Ball start. 70 offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Yeah, I thought he'd have more touches in the first half than he did. Well, he's got it right here. And he runs right into the middle of that big Oregon defense. And... Uh, And he gives it to Peterson, and Peterson's hit behind the line of scrimmage, and uh, third down and 12 for Oklahoma. And they've gone to the shotgun. Red Bomar getting a little heat, dumps it off to Kawan Jones, and Jones getting some help up the sidelines, but not enough. He gets to the 40. First one was only 32. Justin Fennessey is waiting for it. The left footer didn't get all of it. Fennessey comes up, makes the catch, and is immediately hit. Just outside the 25-yard line. Brady Leaf is in. Mike Abelotti said that it was his time to have a series. He takes a low snap, hands it away to Whitehead. <laughs> I'm going to say now, there's a big buck. Ball is thrown over the middle, and it's incomplete. This whole line comes back for the Ducks. And it's third down and six now. Oklahoma looking to go after them, and they do, but their penalty flag, I think, caused one Don't of snap. the Ducks to move. Yep. Five yards Five yards Still third down. See, you're ragging on the center. And... <laughs> Leaf, better hurry. C.J. Ayu, two. He'll hit it up around the six. Just got it out. But he got it out, and it bounces, takes a good gravy bounce right to the Oklahoma returner, Rankins. Rankins Boy, look at those Oklahoma numbers. There's a zero missing there somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> Here he goes. And the tackle is made by Patrick Chung. Stay tuned. Penalty flag is in the wake of this run. Ball comes out, fight for it. Picked up by the Sooners, goes into the end zone, but there's a penalty flag back up here at the 50-yard line. Chris Messner was the man that picked up the ball. And poor Chris Messner's dream of scoring a touchdown has just ended. We're at second down and 17. So the Sooners are struggling right now. That's their fourth penalty of the night. And this is Keewan Jones carrying. 
I'll tell you, he's not a gimme either. It is third down and eight for the Sooners after possessing the ball at their 47 and losing a touchdown. Omar throws, just flipped the ball over to Inglacius. He picks it up, and he's really trucking it down the sidelines, breaking two tackles to get down near the 15-yard line. The ball is at the 16. Out of the shotgun, Bomar looking to the corner. Touchdown. J.D. Reynolds. Great pass protection for Bomar. Good. And the Oklahoma Sooners have their first lead uh, since they left three to nothing. They now go on top in the third quarter with 9.20 to play by a score of 10 to 7. In the radio, which I highly applaud. It's a good place to start. From the 18-yard line, it's Jonathan Stewart, the big freshman running back. Dennis Dixon is the quarterback. Whitehead's back there with him. Dixon looking to throw. Gets it away. Ball completed to Whitehead. Whitehead just ran up a hole in the middle. Sooners have regained the lead after taking three nothing lead in the first quarter. Uh oh. Had a little trouble picking up the ball. It should, it's it's got to be corrected or we're in trouble. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah. Illegal shift was the penalty flag on the last play, and uh, the big problem here is uh, now third down and 19. Dixon gets it away, and it's not complete. Like they want to come, but they don't. Kicks away. It's a low kick by Dragic. Bounding around and bounding down the field, and it turns out to be a pretty good kick. Goes out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Bomar, the quarterback, hands the ball away to Kiwan Jones. Be sore tomorrow. He's stopped at the line of scrimmage, now retreating deep, looking for some help. Here come the tacklers. He finds the crease. Almost broke it and left town with it. Jones is back in. It is third down and eight. Bomar with a lot of time. Now gets some heat. Takes a wallop. And he's down on the field. He took a wallop. It's Manuel Johnson with another big catch. And Tawena is... Out of the lineup for the moment. He ran into one of his own men, but keeps his feet and gets to the outside. And now you may get a face mask here. Look, eh, I guess not. That's one strong defensive back. Ball is at the 43 now on the Oregon side of the field. And a penalty flag is thrown on the far side. The penalties against Oklahoma. Second down and 10. Ball is handed into the belly of Peterson, and he's on a tear right now. He's ripping apart. And looks like he's hurting all over. Well, after what he's been doing, you can understand why. It's a first down. The ball is at the 23-yard line, and Alan Patrick is the running back. And it's the running game now. And Kiwan Jones is... Back in at the running back spot. Peterson is still on the sidelines. And Jones gets it. Cuts it. Gets a daylight. Goes inside the 10. First down and goal for Oklahoma. It's Jones. It's touchdown. Chris Chester let him in. It's almost as if the Oklahoma offensive line was mad that Chris Messner's touchdown was taken away from one of their brothers. Good. Garrett Hartley's extra point is 
Led by Adrian Peterson's determination and willingness to lower his head to take on tacklers. The Sooner wagon is rolling right now. Kiwan Jones from eight yards out, and the Sooners extend their lead to 10. There's something going on almost every play. One of the Sooners is being treated. My goodness, that thing is kicked out of town. All the way to the back of the end zone. Got to get somebody to get something going. Leaf hasn't been able to. Dixon back, chased out of there. He's got the speed and quickness to make something out of nothing. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Their defense is playing. There might be enough. And Stoops keeps telling them they're not hurt. <laughs> yeah. Whitehead slips, trying to cut back inside and loses the yard. They set the tone with their defense, and from then on, they have dominated this third quarter and scored to take a 10-point lead. Two touchdowns. This is Dixon having all kinds of trouble. And again, they're just running over. He'll hit it about the four-yard line. Low kick. Got some room for the return. It's Juan Rankins. Jawan breaking to the outside. Ran right by number 91, but there's a penalty flag thrown back. But it's going to come back. The good return by Rankin. Sooners with two touchdowns, a 10-point lead. Peterson checks in in the backfield, and he gets the ball. Goes to the left side. Nothing over there. Comes back this way. Not much here, but he'll take it. He gained three. Southern California would vote that way, too, probably. In fact, they all said it was the toughest team they played. Hard to imagine. And then so ball on the 42. Keon Jones and Keewan goes Adrian Peterson's back on the field gets the ball stops turns goes right up the middle and just short of a first down third quarter is done we got 15 minutes to go and Oklahoma bouncing back to lead by 10 17 7 after three It's third down and one. And the ball is on the 33-yard line, and they go back to Adrian Peterson, who's come back in the ball game. Jones is in there. Peterson out for a little more rest, and Bomar keeps the ball, rolls out, throws on the run, pass complete to Kelly. Kelly is brought down by Fennessy. Big, interesting young man. <laughs> Adrian Peterson is back in there. He's got the ball coming this way. He runs over one tackler and goes out of bounds at about the three. And it's first and goal, Oklahoma, at the Oregon five. Peterson's in there as the deep back gets the ball and goes to the two. According to Stoops, nobody's hurt. <laughs> That was during the quiet of lunch. Ball is handed to Peterson again, and he goes hammering into the middle. He lost the oh, ball. Fumbled the ball, and Oregon's claiming they've got it. He was stretching for the end zone, and Trucks came away with it. The ruling on the field, the runner was not down. On bodies of players, fumbled the ball. First down. And it's Oregon's ball, first down at the one-yard line. Dixon is under center. Dvorak looking right at the center. Pitch it back to Dixon. He throws it deep. And there are two centers covering the man going deep. On second and ten, Dixon in the end zone, throwing it out to Terrence Whitehead, who gets to the five-yard line on the pass play from the one to the five. He goes back to the spread. Throws in the middle, and it is incomplete. The ball was thrown very, very hard. The fancy halfbacks need the big uglies up front to do it. That's a pretty good kick. He runs the receiver all the way back to the 44-yard line. Jawan Rankins 
Rankins is still searching for running room and finding a little bit as he wiggles his way down the field. That's a heck of a return. He got it down inside the 35-yard line. Great field position one more time for the Sooners. Nata's not in there now, remember. With the leg propped up, Ice does not look like he's coming back anytime soon. 11 minutes, roughly, to play in the ball game. And this play will go just about the line of scrimmage. Omar dropping back, dropping back, dropping back, trying to set up something for Peterson, but he couldn't get the screen set up. Oh, step it. He tries to kick it very high and does. Now let's see what about happens to the bounce. Well, it's caught by Fennessee. Those little guys, the one on the left hasn't done much pulling tonight. That's quite a long trip for them. This is Jonathan Stewart carrying the ball for Oregon. With great power and speed. Third down and one from the 18. Bay's a big guy, 6'4", 260. Takes up a lot of space. Here's Dixon throwing the ball to the sidelines. Too high, and DJ Wolf record in attendance tonight, too. Here's the punt away by Dragic. That's a good one. It's a tight spin on it. Goes back to Rankins. Rankins from the 37 yard line will get back to about the 40 and stop there. Last time the Ducks were 11 and 1, trying to get to 11 and 1 tonight. Up the middle on the play, the ball is handed to Peterson, who's they just picked up his entire Sooner offense. Omar's pass thrown to the sidelines and the pass is caught by Malcolm Kelly. Well, they had a disappointing postseason last year when they lost to SC in the title game, but they look like they want to be contenders next year. Off Bomar nice going deep. Incomplete intended for Kelly. Oh, Covering on the play was Aaron Gibson. But if they all stay, <laughs> they go. Little play action for Bomar's pass to the sidelines on the throne. Let's see what happens after Josh Heupel has him for a year. He might not look like the same guy because one of these days he's going to get hurt. If he keeps taking big blows like that. A play like that, for example, who's well back there. He's expecting a big one out of Freebie. And it's not. It's a shank. Coming straight toward the sidelines and eventually going out of bounds. No Oregon player had a chance. To... Brady Leaf is in there at uh, quarterback. And it's an empty backfield for him. So Dixon's unable to do anything. They'll try Leaf. He throws a bad pass. Thank you. Leaf throws again. This time the ball is caught by Findlay. Pressure's coming, just a sure shoot, and here they are. Jailhouse, uh, and it is caught. They got past the marker, and he hit him. It's Finley. Sidearms it to the sidelines. In Eugene. Low snap, picked up by Leaf, throws, dropped. It was in the hands, so they're looking at third and long again. Third and ten. 17 to seven, the Sooners lead. Ball is thrown into the Sooner bench, incomplete. At least get three. Goes the other way, Whitehead. He's going to get it. He's going to get a lot more. They finally knock him out of bounds at the 39-yard line of Oklahoma. It's on fourth and ten to keep their hopes alive. 5.45 to play in a ball game. Leaf turns and wanted to go deep. Nobody there. A lot of green grass, so he takes off and spins down to the 30, and he's right on that marker. Beginning to wake up a little bit as the action has been revived by the Oregon Ducks in this surge. Leaf's pass is completed to Finley. And Finley is thrown down at about the 23-yard line. That's caught by Williams. Tough catch by Demetrius. 
no. A good what, hook. What goes into it? <laughs> Back goes. Leaf throws. He's got a man. He's got another first down. Yeah, he's oh, close. He's pretty close. It's third down and one. Thrown out to Finley. He may not get that first down. He's going to lose. That was not a good decision. Reggie Smith. But now the kicking team comes trotting on the field. Not a bad decision. This would, if it's good, would cut the lead. Not going to be a field goal. They got a man going to the corner of the end zone, and that gets a penalty flag. Well, he tried all kinds of trick plays. It was the defender for Pass Oklahoma. Interference, 13 on the defense. Spot foul. Automatic. First down. Look at Bassey hustle out there to find Dave. But watch where this ball lands. Not even in the chalk, which is a good three yards wide. Oh, Oregon got away with one there. They're down by 10 points, 334 to play in the game. Low snap, Leaf gets it. Lost a high one into the end zone. It is touchdown. Tim Day, who hadn't caught a TD pass all year, and suddenly the big guy is involved in two big plays, and one of them was the touchdown. Leaf holds it. Ball start, 85 offense, wow. five-yard penalty. Tim Day makes. Just squeezes that one in. Whoa, just barely. 17-14. What would uh, give the cover team a chance to come down and make the play? Well, here it is. He's going to kick it on the ground. Bouncing around, and it's gravy bounced. And the Sooners handle it up around the 33-yard line. Superman wouldn't have made would that have catch. Had the opportunity, maybe. Whatever. It's now Oregon's uh, big problem to stop Oklahoma's offense. And a guy named Peterson just tucked it away and uh, got two yards. Maybe changing his play here. Better hurry. That's the illegal motion right there. Kiwan Jones cuts back inside. I don't see any laundry. Well, there should be because Bomar was moving, as was Kiwan Jones. Now the Sooners spread him out. Sideline to sideline. On third and four, Bomar's pass is incomplete. Intended for Kelly. Defended by Fennessey. Ducks coming hard. Kick is away. It's a low one. And and it's on the field of play and it's rolling around inside the 25 and dead at the 23. So Brady Leaf is in the catbird seat as far as posture and that ball is pitched to Whitehead. He was broke the hold of a couple of Oklahoma defenders and got out of trouble. Well, he's not a gimme. He's 244 pounds. He's a big guy. That bad pass. Whoa, almost picked up. Yeah, he scored on one against Tulsa this year. Where's Demetrius Williams? Come to this side, the Whitehead. Whitehead gets loose. He's got a first down. He's across midfield. He's still going. He's finally brought down at the 35-yard line by Eric Bassey. And Whitehead did exactly the same thing against Fresno State. On first down, they go to Johnson. He's not that big, and they handle him. He's an even 200 pounds. Second down and nine. Leafs pass down the middle is incomplete. All kinds of movement along the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Polani Masoon jumped offside. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Leafs got to throw the ball. Now throws it to Jeremiah Johnson, and Johnson gets loose and gets a first down. Holy cow. <laughs> Leaf runs it up into the middle. Whitehead's back. Leafs pass, intercepted by Clint Ingram. And that's your door 
Slammer. Following the interception, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 44. That'll be half the distance to the goal. First down, Oklahoma. But the ball is thrown too flat by Leaf. What an athletic play. Schools out. This baby's over. 31 seconds. Penalty flag. And that stops the clock. That stops the clock. Red Bomar slams the ball down. That's going to be another one of those uh, unsportsmanlike penalties. Number seven. Half the distance to the goal. Third down. Only, well, clock has started again. And now a delay of game penalty is being called. Offense, charge to number seven. Not Half sure the why the game the clock started Still there. Third down. Now taking a knee is a different critter. But that'll do it. And the game is finally over. And the Oklahoma Sooners have won the ball game by a score of 17 to 14. Well, it got pretty exciting in that final minutes of the fourth quarter. Uh, but Oklahoma won the ball game in the third quarter when they scored two touchdowns. Final score, Oklahoma 17, Oregon 14, and another great Pacific Life Holiday Bowl game.